Cats here at Spivy TV in downtown Toronto with curator and the founder of the Real Artists Film Festival, Anne Webb. What inspired you to found the festival? That's a great question. Thanks very much. Um, well, being an art aficionado, um, I get to travel quite extensively and I meet lots of interesting people. And I was on an art tour and I met a wonderful woman named Lara Trezorio who lives in Naples, Italy. And she produces a festival called, called Arte Cinema. Mm -hmm. And she shared with me what she does there. And uh, with um, sort of her permission, I decided to establish this festival here in Toronto. And I thought it would be a great way to bring a bigger public to the visual arts. Okay. And how did the festival kind of begin and how has it changed over the years? Well, it began 10 years ago and the first year we screened Friday night and Saturday, I believe, at Ryerson. And we had uh, maybe 15 films, very small scale. But what I learned from that um, first year is that there's a real dedicated audience of art lovers who are seeking more information and ways to get um, into kind of um, an artist studio, mm -hmm. and this is a great way to do it. So it's really evolved since that time. We have dedicated uh, film goers who come every single year, and the audience has grown, and now we're at Tiff Bell Light Box, which is a really beautiful venue. Do you find that your audience mainly consists of people interested in film or those who are more interested in art or a combination? Um, I think it's probably people who are more interested in art mm -hmm. because they are you know, pretty straight visual art documentaries. So it's, it's, it's anyone who's interested in you know, learning more, getting a deeper understanding of the visual artist or the artist's work. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it really reaches out to, to, the, to the art interested audience. Great. And what makes film such a great medium to explore art? That's another great question. <laughs> um, some people think that visual art can be very intimidating mm -hmm. and uh, when you put something on film it becomes very democratic. Everybody loves going to the movies. Mm -hmm. You love going to the cinema and eating your popcorn and sort of being mesmerized by the big screen. So um, it's a very democratic medium and people aren't afraid of a film like they might be a little more timid to go into an art gallery, right? But when you're sitting in a room with 200 people, you're all sharing the same experience and there's, you know, music, the films look great on the big screen. Um, it's, it's sort of a real, it's a real immersive experience and I think that's why uh, these films are so accessible. Okay. And what films in particular are you very excited about for this year's program? Okay, well, I'm really excited about all of them. <laughs> but um, the first film on opening night, which is our big gala night, is um, an excerpted version of a sequel to a film that we showed a few years ago by Herman Dorothy, the very famous collectors. He was a postal worker and she was a librarian. And this is an excerpt of this forthcoming film. And the reason why we have an excerpt is because um, we have such a great relationship with the director, and she's made this film specially for us. Um, the film is going to have its premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival in April, and Dorothy Vogel will be with us on opening night. Mm -hmm. And then we have a number of other films. Um, there's a film about Damien Hirst, famous British bad boy artist. Um, we have a film about David Altman, who represented Canada at the Venice Biennale a few years ago. Mikaeline uh, Thomas, who's um, an artist from New York who currently has a show at the Brooklyn Museum, she will be with us. We have a great film on the history of Polaroid and Polaroid film, which closes the festival on Sunday. So there's something for everybody, I think. Great. Yeah. And for someone who maybe doesn't know a lot about the art world or sees it as a little bit intimidating, do you think that the festival is a good introduction to it? I do because one of the things that's really important to us is not just to show the film films, but to relate the film, the, the artists and the artwork back to Toronto. So what we do is we have every film is introduced by a local person, so an artist, a critic, a curator, an educator from Toronto. So we involve the entire community. There's um, people from the Art Gallery of Ontario, from Ryerson, from uh, OCAD U. Uh, there are artists who will introduce each film, so it really um, presents an opportunity for people to relate what they're seeing back to what's happening here in 
Toronto, right? And you've been working in the art scene in Toronto mm -hmm. for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, where, how has it grown, and where do you hope to see it go in the years to come? Well, I think the art world, the art, art community worldwide has really grown exponentially. Probably in the past 10 to 15 years, there's been an increase in art fairs internationally. Um, the world is way more connected. Everybody knows each other. Um, so uh, the art world has grown, but um, yeah, the art world has, has su super, the art world has grown um, and more people are participating in different ways. And I would like to see um, continue our mission, which is to provide educational opportunities for people to learn more about art, so that when they're going to an art fair, or they're going to a gallery, there's a real educational aspect, and that they're getting the information they need, and they're getting um, a really good understanding of the artist and their work. So, you know, I think the art world will continue to evolve, and it's really important that we provide educational opportunities for people who are seeking that information, and I think that's what the film festival does. And here I have the festival program. Can you tell me about the dates for the festival mm -hmm. and where we can find out more information online? Sure. So the festival opening night celebration is on February 20th, and the festival runs through February 24th. And information can be found on our website at canadianart.ca slash RAF. That's R-A-F-F -F for Real Arts Film Festival. And everything you need to know about getting tickets and film information is there. Perfect. And we also have the Canadian Art Magazine here. Can you tell me how this is tied into everything and how it's sure. interconnected? <laughs> so Canadian Art Magazine is published by Canadian Art Foundation. And uh, it's Canada's most uh, widely read visual art publication. It comes out quarterly in print. We also have uh, a website, CanadianArt.ca. And the beauty of this magazine is it's, um, it's a great source of information for the art-interested individual who wants to know about everything that's going on in the art world um, in Canada and beyond. You can find everything you need to know here. Um, so I encourage you to look at it. Great. Thank you so much, and congratulations on the festival, and I can't wait to check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.